legends. The next update is here with some major additions. The first Tier 7 Premium Destroyer arrives in the Sword of the Pacific campaign. The Soviet fleet is fully released and Legendary Tier makes its return. Let's dive in. The new Sword of the Pacific campaign features the first Tier 7 Premium Destroyer as its prize, Yudachi. This Japanese destroyer is stealthy and uses its powerful torpedoes to deal some serious damage. The Soviet fleet is complete at last. The Russian battleships are out of early access and now you can unlock the deadly Tier 7 Vladivostok. These ships are built for battle thanks to their heavy artillery and armour. Legendary Tier is back. You can now research these behemoths using a new system, the Bureau. It will take some time to complete the research, so start quickly. After you finish the intro project for some doubloons and the Campbelltown, you can begin working on one of the three legendary tier ships, Alaska, Grosser Kerfest, and the mighty Yamato. Grosser Kerfest is a giant battleship with a famous turtleback armor scheme, making it a tough ship to bring down. As one of the large cruisers built for the US Navy, Alaska has a unique playstyle as a relatively tough cruiser with powerful 305mm guns. The Yamato returns and needs little introduction. She was the largest battleship ever built and brings monstrous 18-inch guns into the battle. Keep in mind that these ships are the endgame for World of Warships legends. You will not be able to complete them during this update, though a number of players may finish them during the next update. There are three new maps coming for high-tier battles. Greece, Crash Zone and Northern Waters give ships plenty of space to manoeuvre as well as islands for cover. Plus, there is a bunch of balance changes coming to Tier 7 and new effects for ships on fire. Check out the patch notes for more details. There's a lot coming to the high seas, legends. Get ready and turn the tide.